Are we gonna act like we're disgusted? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Cute. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another movie reaction. I'm Elias and I'm joined here with Cindy. And today we're going to be watching After because we asked you guys after the Twilight series in the comments which movie or series you wanted to see from us next. And a plethora of you guys said After and Fifty Shades. So we're going to start with After first and then continue on with Fifty Shades sometime in the future. We'll see. So before we get further into the reaction, a message from today's video is sponsored. Cue the clip. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. So Babbel is the number one language selling app with over 10 million subscriptions worldwide. So using the app so far on my phone, learning a new language has been actually really enjoyable and fairly easy as well. You know, I figured since we're watching a movie about after, I figured now's the time to why not learn the language of love. Because I am pretty sure if Tessa had to learn a language, you know, her being a simp and in love with Harden at that, that she would probably choose to learn French. So, here we are. What's really cool about Babbel is that it teaches real-world practical conversations that you can use in travel, business, and relationships. These are all really short and simple 10-minute interactive lessons that you can choose to learn from. They offer a plethora of ways to learn from lessons, podcasts, games, and videos with live classes and top teachers. <laughs> Je. Tu. Tu. Il. Oui. Oui. Elle est malade, la pauvre. Let's go! 20 out of 21. Babbel will essentially teach you more than the vocab words. They'll teach you more specifically about that language's culture, people, and history, and more. All ranging from holiday, food, drink, tradition, and slang. Babbel itself is pretty simple, really easy, and practical. They even offer a 20-day money-back guarantee. So if you guys are interested and one of your goals is to perhaps learn a new language in 2022, then this is the perfect time for you to do so. You guys can check out and click the link down below to get 65% off your subscription. So once again, thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video, and now back to your regular broadcast. So I absolutely have no idea what this movie series is about. All I know is that it's about this college girl who meets this British guy. That's pretty much it. I know that he's very toxic. Ooh, okay. Mm -mm. Tell me more. We um, love all these bad tropes. I think this movie is basically like straight culture, which is good because then we can learn more about ourselves. Ugh, I already know about myself. I don't know about you. I mean, you're just learning the fact that you're coming out of the closet, so... You're coming out of the closet as a hetero. Oh, that is not my influence. <laughs> um, hey, let's make a promise that whatever happens in this you, trilogy... You... Basically, Cindy likes toxicity, is what I'm hearing. Okay. I want to be toxic okay, she, with you. This bitch wants ah. me to be toxic to her? Let's go! Well... <laughs> Okay, I'm really hoping he doesn't hit her, but I think maybe like he punches a wall or something like that. But I think he gets like really jealous easily. And I do know like at some point, probably not in this movie, but like he sees her with another guy and he's like, fucking Trevor, <laughs> because he's British. <laughs> what was that? that now, that's you know a good thing. You know what? Back when, if I had like read this or seen this when I was like 13, 15 years old, I would have probably ate that shit up. I would have been like, man, I want my man to do that to me. I want my man to be super possessive and obsessed. What do you think you'll write this movie? Oh, me? Yeah. I already know I'd probably rate it like a 2 or a 1. I think I'm gonna rate it 1 star. I gave Tall Girl 1 out of 10. If this is anything marginally better than Tall Girl, we'll see. I think you will like this better than Tall Girl because even though it's bad, it'll probably be more entertaining yeah, than Tall Girl. Yeah, I think Girl. the entertaining value will be much higher than fucking Tall Girl. Oh, did you know this used to be a Wattpad fanfic? Oh wait, not fanfic, but a Wattpad story. I actually did know that. Mm -hmm. It was like a Harry Styles fanfic. Oh, oh yeah, I guess it was um, Harry Styles fanfic. I heard that Harry Styles blocked the author. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? <laughs> she wrote a fanfic about him and he blocked her. <laughs> it must fucking suck. Dude, how would you feel if someone wrote a fanfic about you and then became a movie? All right, so with that being said, let us go ahead and get straight into the reaction. After. 
So she's supposed to be like this good girl virgin, hence all white, very innocent, very sweet. Free charger, phone charger. I can, I can always... For a second, I thought that was her dad. Please, no. <laughs> I was like, wait. I'm glad I don't have to go wait, to school anymore. that guy's from you. Season, season oh, three. Oh, you're right. Theo. Yeah. He was cute. I don't he, like his hair. Right um, he made the series definitely more spicy. I was into like his subplot. Okay. Not her rooming with lesbians. In the flesh. She would definitely be a TikToker. I like your sweater. Thanks. I, uh, I got it from the Gap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got it from the gap. <laughs> oh, I think she's related to the actress that was in um, 13 Reasons Why. Mom? No, no, her, the main girl. I think they're related. Oh, really? They're sisters? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that wasn't her brother. Uh, Alabama, do we miss something? No, that's her boyfriend. We <laughs> thought that was her brother. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I was like, this gun got spicy real quick. Oh my god, please no. She's just very protective. <sighs> the movie would be so different if they ended up together. Your brother's cute. Oh, you know it. See, she thought he was her brother too. The bookish vibe. I like that. Not her being a booktuber. No wonder she's a loser. Yeah, what books is she into? <laughs> Let's judge her book days. And welcome to Econ 101. I failed economics. <laughs> 101? And, yeah. I, and then I had to switch my major so that it wouldn't it wouldn't be a requirement anymore. A general I I used to be a business major. And then dead. I barely I either failed econ or I barely passed it. And I was like, you know what? Let me switch majors. I'm in the right room. Okay, do you think he's cute? He's reading the great Gatsby. Yeah, he's kinda cute. Ish. Okay, let me translate this to you because it's straight culture. So when a boy and a girl make eye contact and they're slow motion, that means they're supposed to be chemistry. <laughs> Thank you for explaining to me. I would have never guessed. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm the translator here. Cute dress. <laughs> <laughs> Cute dress. <laughs> That's Jace, the townie. He looks way too old. You have to be in college. He's like a super senior. Oh my God, Steph, where'd you find this girl? This girl's such a bitch. Right? She's like, right come on. The bitchy girl looks familiar to me, though. I've never seen her before in my life. I'll do dare. Dare. If we were playing truth or dare, and you were dare to make out with me, would you do it? Why not? Then you will lose the game. I win some, I lose some. Hmm. That's how it goes, babe. I'm done playing this game. Ooh. She's done playing this game. Sucks to suck. Um, I like this girl. <laughs> God. Wow, they like her already. Wow. She's not like other girls. She denied <laughs> kissing the Harden. You're at a party. Have you been drinking? I just had one drink. Okay, so you go to college and now you drink. That's Who the fuck cares? Jeez, so passive aggressive. Oh my God. Just forget it. Yeah, hang up on him. I liked him better when he was her brother. That's gotta be his room. Mm -hmm. That British flag was a dead giveaway. He reads. I can guarantee- Look, and it's annotated too. Guy like that would have never read a book in his life. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. He's more myself than I am. Oh. I cringe so much I when characters not. quote books in real life. This was me reading If We Were Villains. Them quoting Shakespeare to each other like oh no Oh my god, other. I know what you mean. <laughs> so cringe. Oh my god, I hate this bitch. I hate this bitch. He's so annoying and passive aggressive. Oh my I'm god, snitching. not him being a snitch. You know what? I'm starting to understand why she cheated on him. That's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> Elizabeth Bennett needs to chill. <laughs> he was pursuing her. She's clearly not satisfied with her life. She can get it. Well, I think that it's. This is like a typical book Twitter argument. Like they're arguing <laughs> over a book but they're projecting their own personal issues onto it. The way this interaction would never happen in a classroom like that. Yeah, no one would give a fuck. <laughs> Keep her distance. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Choking on that ball already. You love the monster in the world. The fact that I'll be in the water for that. <laughs> can, can I ask you something? Can I ask? I'm fucking dying on here, bro. Let's go back. I don't 
don't get it. Why are they attracted to each other? They barely have even interacted or talked. It's like Edward and Bella. The way, if I was in that water trying to kiss somebody, we'd both be like, up and down the water. <laughs> I feel like this moves so quickly. We have no idea or reason why they would even like each other. What if he's just doing this for like a prank? Like a bet set up in the first place, right? By like the other friend group? Yeah. And then he actually falls in love with her and then it's decided, oh, it's just a prank. She gets fucking pissed. Yeah, maybe like the bet is like, oh, I bet I can maybe this, take her virginity or something. Yeah, maybe that's why it's like coming out of nowhere. You know? Yeah. Why'd you stop? Yeah, why'd, <laughs> why'd you She's stop? like so hard. She's like, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Were you like embarrassed that they saw us together? No. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're definitely, he's definitely doing some like prank or bet. Yeah. She literally said, so fill us in. Yeah, we've. Dead giveaway. We've, we've established it already. He made a bet so that he can take her virginity. When we're driving in your car and you're talking to me one on one, on one but you, you become. become. <laughs> Oh no, and then the other guy's gonna get jealous. He's such a dweeb. <gasps> Chill. Oh my god. Dude. The way we had to turn yeah. our heads to read it. <laughs> yeah, he needs therapy. He needs he like needs anger therapy. management. That's very unsettling. That's such a red flag. If he's throwing oh. shit, and making a mess and not even cleaning it up. But that's the appeal to some girls. It's like, oh, only you can talk to him. Only you can calm him down. He's just making a mess everywhere. Who is gonna clean that up? Not you. I can get it. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> He's gonna suck the blood off of her. The way this fucking girl can't do anything either. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she had to clean it up. I knew she would cut her hand too. I don't think that is how I'm feeling. God, this guy has it wit. He's like had it so hard for her. They literally went on like what one date. Yeah. Yes. Even if he had a like a bet or a played a prank on her, like he met her one time. Even that movie, um, he saw that. There was more that happened between those two characters, Addison Ray and that guy, than these people. Not the belly kisses. He's gonna blow a raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ever have to cover up. Not for me. Yes, yeah, Cindy, you don't have to cover up. Not for me, even if they, you don't barely have any boobs. Aww. <laughs> it's the negging for me. <laughs> Would you want your belly kissed like that? Hell yeah. Do it, do it right now. Do it right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, she left her boyfriend. I got the door. Oh, oh, spicy. He's going to send so many passive aggressive text messages now. Well, that is shitty of her to do. So even though he is annoying, he should still get you know, the respect that he deserves. So shady. Uh-oh, he's right there. Oh god. Oh, no. Are we gonna see a fight? Let's go! This is the first exciting thing that's happened in this movie. Oh, but poor guy though, I kinda feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, come on, fight! <laughs> come on, he would not, he would not be <laughs> able <true>. to. <laughs> Noah is such a snitch. <laughs> he's like telling her mom everything, oh, given the play-by-play. When my dad left. Oh no, they both, they both have, have daddy, daddy issues. issues. <laughs> Here we go. Noah's my best friend. I hate myself for what I did to him. Tessa, it's not your fault. Um, it kind of is. <laughs> like, <laughs> she did choose to cheat. <laughs> Whose fault is it? <laughs> it's both of your fault. Library's closing. Library's getting ready to close. The security guard, he's like, my moment to shine. Man, that security guard. He's doing a bad job. I know, right? What are you doing here? He clearly does not get paid enough for this. Yeah. <laughs> that poor security card. <laughs> this is the most exercise he's gotten like all year. To explode in supernova. The way none of my teachers were like this. Dude, I barely passed my astronomy class yeah, too. Same. <laughs> I God. keep falling asleep. How did I barely get through college? I poked that armpit. And then he would lose that book. Tessa, hon, I've called all day. Tessa. You're right. <gasps> oh my god, awkward. Oh no. What the hell is going on? 
Dude, no one needs to stop snitching. <laughs> this why her doing all these things, she still has better grades than I did in school. <laughs> My roommate in college walked in on me having sex. Really? Yeah, because she went to class and so my ex and I at the time were doing it, but her class got canceled. Really? So she opened the door <laughs> and my bed is like right in front of the door and she walked in on that. It was so awkward. What you mean like live together? Oh my God, live together. They're moving as quickly as gay relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The way I just know that our reaction to this movie, that I'm going to be cutting so much shit out. Like, there's so much music, so many montages. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what the fuck? How many grapes can you fit in your mouth? I don't know. Probably not much. My mouth is small. I was at a dentist last week, and the dental assistant literally told me my mouth was small. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. Small enough, but big enough to fit that D. Or maybe I that says so. a lot about the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> not you trying to insult both of us. I don't deserve you. If he says like, oh, you're too good for me or whatever, you should listen to that. I would have been like, oh my God, really? Like, stop it. You should say, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> How has Tessa been able to pass her business classes and I flunked them? <laughs> How is this possible? This is a lot. <laughs> God, I'm such a dumb bitch. <laughs> nice meeting. Yeah, you too. So their names are Karen and Ken. <laughs> Oh, thank God the movie's almost over. 30 minutes. This movie felt so long. Fuck, I, think, I know. I think because of all the montages. Because nothing happens. Yeah. Another song montage. It's going to be tough for you to avoid copyright with this movie. Because the songs are constantly playing. Oh, I'm going to skip all this. Okay. What, what, what was the point? What was the point of the scene? <laughs> Ooh, she about to find out. What didn't you tell me? The way we fucking <gasps> predicted this whole movie at the very beginning. Do you trust me? Of course I do. No. What's... Then what's the problem? No, no. I would need a much better explanation for that. Yeah, that was insane. bullshit. I'm like, fuck no. That was bullshit. Don't you think this thing has gone a little too far? What mm -hmm. thing? Pardon me. Mm -hmm. Make her fall in love with me. The fact that he did it, and he then, said it first. Mm -hmm. I just... I don't know. I it's really tough being straight because you have to like deal with all these bets, run and, away, like truth or dare and stuff like run that. Run away, Miss Thing. You said nothing could change the way you felt about me. Uh, that was don't, before. <laughs> yeah, don't turn her words back against her. Chevron sponsored. Sponsored by sponsored Chevron. Sponsored by Chevron. <laughs> you know, this movie would have been so much shorter if there were like no montages. The way I have to cut all this out. No copyright. This is you coming home after a book of the month stops sponsoring you. <laughs> <laughs> the way if I ever did that and I came back, mom would have been like, nope. <laughs> Slam store. <laughs> what happened? No, she wants to know the tea. That's why she <laughs> let her in. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna see her brother? Noah, I'm sorry. I feel like we, we change and we discover who we are. Wow, he's like very understanding about it. Maybe he already signed the contract to go on you. I'm out of here. He's like, I'm <laughs> chilling. I got another Netflix series. That love was something fictional, only found in worn pages of a book. This is so oh embarrassing. Jane Austen is rolling in her grave right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> I bet the teacher was reading this. She'd been like, I wanna know what grade she gave that essay. <laughs> What corrections did she make make on it? This essay is going all over the place. Yeah, I there's no structure. What's your thesis? Wait, Ended? what? That's how the movie ends? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how it ends? Boo. Nah. No way. Nah, that's, that's how shitty. it ends. That's shitty. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That That's was, how it ended? That was so anticlimactic. That was, yeah. What the fuck? I was expecting like, I don't know, like some goodbye scene or some like talk about like forgiveness or I don't know, some shit. Was this really a movie or was this just a bunch of song montages strung together <laughs> with barely a, like a plot? Okay, not gonna lie, it had more entertainment value than Tall Girl. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'll give it a two because it was more entertaining than Tall Girl. Okay. Tall Girl was the fucking absolute worst. That movie had no substance whatsoever. This movie had some parts where I was like, entertain and then some parts where I was like cringing 
some parts where I was like laughing because it was so stupid, you know? So I had to give where credit's due. There were some elements in this movie, although very few, that I thought were like, okay. The part when the mom came in, I was not expecting that. I was like, okay! The movie was so bad to the point where when something minuscule happened, it was like a big thing, you know, mm -hmm. at first. The song Montages gave this movie character, I think. It really? Was, no! It was, like, it was like a music video where I would have been like, okay, where I could like determine which part of the movie would happen next and where it would happen. I so think... that's how I judged the movie by that. I'm just like, after is literally all about the song montage. So I I was just wishing this movie was just like more spicy. Like I was expecting Harding to be like super toxic. And that's just, true. Like, like I was expecting more, right? That's true. Like I would have been like something more to be able to comment on. But throughout this whole movie, I feel like even though I did make some comment, it wasn't like on par as like, you know, like Twilight or something else. I'm very disappointed and I was pretty bored and I am not looking forward to the sequels. Like maybe I'm just going to be like... You know what? Maybe we'll skip the sequels because what the fuck is gonna happen next? Like, hey, what? What is in the sequels? We we committed to this, so we're gonna watch the sequel. Stupid! At least Twilight was way entertaining. Like Twilight by far has been the most entertaining series that we've watched. I think. All right, the sequel will be on my channel, so look forward to that. Wait, what's the sequel called? I don't know. Wait, let me look at how much, how much money. How much money? I'm telling you, this this was probably like a really cheap movie to make, and they know that people will watch it. Oh my gosh, it made seventy million. Yep, and, and the, the budget was fourteen million. Yeah, so they made. Fucking kidding me. They made. That's a lot. How of money. many of you guys fucking went to the movie theater and watched this? Let me know down in the comments below how many of you guys mm -hmm. actually went to the movie theater and watched this movie because I'll feel so much better about myself spending my money on certain things because I've been like, at least I didn't spend money on watching this movie in the movie theater. This film is followed by two sequels with the third and fourth and a prequel in development? Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? No, we are stopping after the trilogy. Wait, We're done. Look at the movie poster. That movie poster looks spicier than the actual movie. It's true. You've gotta be shitting me. We are not, no. This movie series will literally be my 13th reason. Gotta save my mental health and sanity, okay? All right, so that is pretty much it, you guys. We fucking finally did it for you because you asked for it. Please let us know down in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys thought, if you guys have watched the series and whatnot. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon with a new video. So before we get further into the reaction, a message from today's video sponsor. Cue the clip. Can you do it with me? Yeah. <laughs> You're sitting there. All right.